Welcome back to Train Shed. We're here for another model railway update. You might have seen our previous video when we show you how we built the traverser. We found an operation that's been a little bit unreliable in a few respects. These are some of the things we've done to improve its reliability. First thing you might notice if you've seen the previous video is that it now has only five roads. Uh, we found we couldn't get our hands in between the tracks. So we've consolidated it down to five, which makes it much easier to use in operation. The second thing you might notice is these very large copper plates on the end of each track. Um, coupled with this extra piece of wood down here, which will work together. We found that when the temperature and humidity changed, this piece of ply tended to uh, change shape a little bit and it made it very hard to line the tracks up with the escape road. Um, so this piece just keeps it much straighter. Um, and the copper plates each have four little screws in the top, which are adjustable. So these aren't glued down and you've got some height adjustment on each of the ends of those roads. And that coupled with, I'll just move the camera so you can see, a much larger copper plate here as well with two screws in it. So you can fine tune the uh, ends of each of those roads to make sure they line up really well, which has helped to minimize derailments when running on and off the traverser. The final modification is an electronic one. We mentioned in the previous video that all the roads were live all the time, and there was a danger of trains running off the end uh, just falling onto the floor. Bad news. We've worked out a way to isolate each track when they're not connected to the escape road and that's using this bolt as a switch. So these holes, which are strategically drilled into the strengthening board underneath, don't just help you get the traverser lined up in exactly the right place, but they also complete the electrical connection. There's a small spring in each one and a wire connected to the bolt here. So the right hand rail of each of the tracks is connected to a bus but the left hand rail is switched through this bolt um, when you connect it it then makes this rail here go live so that that train is live i'll just get the camera in a bit closer and then i'll run that train off so you can see it in action so this is loku 76058 our standard 4mt sound on lovely Okay, we're going to select the middle road, which has got King George I on it. Uh, provide the electrical connection, switch on the sound. That's good, that shows it's all connected up right. And away she goes. Bit of a mixed rake of coaches there. No derailments at all. And there you have it. Very smooth, not a derailment in sight. Excellent work. This is this boat.
doesn't get much better than that. Simon.